Good morning, Class for Cosmos. Our Celtic knot for today is meant to symbolize luck or being lucky, and it resembles a four leaf clover. So, before we start, we are going to need some guiding dots, and that will be the only thing that will need a yellow crayon. The rest of our form will be green. If you still have both of your greens, that is the light and the darker green, this is what we will use today. If you are missing one of your greens, you can use a blue or if you don't have that either, anything you have. So our form will be green and a secondary color. So for our guide dots, I'm using gold today just so that it is not very uh, dark. So we need a dot in the center of our paper and then four dots above, below, on the right, and on the left, all somewhat in the same distance from the middle once again. Now, I will be taking my light green and making a circle here in the middle of the center dot and the outside dots. It will be closer to the outside dots than the middle dot, as you can see. So while I am doing this and you are watching, just try to follow with your finger in the air first, going around and around and around. You can pause here and then when you are ready for the next step, you can play it again. You're doing this lightly because later we are going to darken it. Alright, now. If you remember our form last time, the trinity symbol, we made three spades using curved lines which look a bit like incomplete circles. Today we are going to make four spades using the same kind of line. So for our first curved line, we are going to go from the top uh, above the top dot curving inside to the circle but not beyond the center dot and then going beyond the right dot like so and then we will mirror this same movement from the right dot to the bottom dot Once again, not going beyond the center. And then again from the bottom to the left. And from the left to the top. Now while watching this, try to move the form with your finger, tracing it on the screen or in the air, uh, in front of the screen. And we will keep repeating it to thicken the line. So, as you have noticed, Celtic knots are made with continuous lines. If you follow the form, you will go on and on and on. Okay, so pause here and then play again when you're ready. Now we are going to go over and under. Let's start with this curved line. So this time we are doing a different technique. 
we're going to go from the start and when we go under we will stop and then we will start again and then when we go over we darken and then we lighten until we stop and then we darken we darken we darken and then we will now stop here so over under over under so we stop here and then this goes over so now we have a, a crossing that we already went through twice you can see that the lines that go under become lighter and the lines that go over become darker so whenever a line goes over you darken whenever it goes under you lighten but try to blend okay so try to follow it with your eyes before you do it on your own paper this went under this went over this went under this went over now again corners are not part of the pattern so this goes over still over this goes under here that's why it's lightened then this goes over and then it lightens until it stops to go under and then it darkens to go over as you can see there are two lines here intersecting this line that are very close to each other so this goes under this goes over so this is dark and then you lighten it slowly because you still have a way to go and then this goes under so it's light but this goes over so we darken this one and then goes lighter lighter and stops goes under and this goes over so please be mindful when your line goes through two other lines because then you will have to go under and then over very closely so I'm just trying to even out over lighten 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 so the tips can be dark just so it gives a nice shape this goes lighter 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 and goes under and then this goes darker 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 because it goes over and then lighter 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 goes under and over and under and then we're back at the start so now we are just going to enhance the blending and we are going to go and darken the parts of the circle that go over and we are going to even out the circle in general so here we have over because as you can see the clover went under this is all rhyming now the clover went under on this side so the circle goes over over blend 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 under under here then darkens a bit darkens a bit until it goes over again here so blend under and over and under and over 
number. So I'm showing you all of this already so that you can look ahead. And remember to be mindful of the next steps. All right? So that's how it will look like without our secondary color. Our secondary color will go on the outside of the clover. So pause here and then play again when you're ready for this next step. So now that you have the middle, uh, the main bands, we are going to outline them with our secondary color very, very thinly, very, very lightly on the outside. So we are going to follow the bands. If the line goes over, then our line goes over. So let's start at the top this time going this way. So this goes over and stops here go under this goes over under and this is a corner and then this goes over stops here stop here okay and then starting where the line is here goes over stops goes under and goes to the corner goes over and stops oops stopped a little late there uh, if you are drawing with a crayon on top of more crayon sometimes you can scratch it a bit but don't worry about it too much because this is our practice page so it goes under and over and under over Oop. see so I mistakenly did it on both sides here so we are not we don't need this one so because this is our practice page that's fine you'll see later that I won't be doing that because I did it here on the practice page okay so stay here under to the corner and it goes over and stops to go under and goes over and stops to go under and to the corner so now you can see when we follow just the outside it's on the outside all over the clover now we are going to do the same on the circle going in and out of the clover leaves so let's start here going clockwise so I'm not gonna make the same mistake of uh, doing the inner one just the outside one outside here outside Actually, this went over. So, if you go under by mistake, it's easier to fix because then you just go over again. It goes under here. Goes over here. Goes under. And over. And that's the end of the form. Alright, so practice it on your practice page do it here do it at the back do it uh, with little ones and until you can do it without the guide dots and then transfer it in your main lesson book and write the day <coughs> uh, the date of the day on the bottom right once again take a picture of both your practice page and your main lesson book page Thank you.